This cycle is focused on getting students to communicate directly with their parents about their progress and having them own the conversation about how they're doing in our classes. Because if they're going to be our true learning partners in their learning journey, they have to know enough about their progress to be able to articulate that for their parents. So if you're using some of the strategies that we've talked about in this group of cycles, maybe you're giving real-time feedback, you're having students think meta cognitively about their progress, you're conducting side-by-side assessments, the students should know enough about how they're doing to communicate that to parents. So in this cycle, you're going to think about what technology tool is most appropriate for students, the students you're working with, to communicate with their parents, how regularly should that happen, and what supports might you need to give them to facilitate that conversation. So if you're teaching older students, maybe they are going to email their parents periodically about their progress, or maybe Maybe you have a protocol where if kids come to a real-time feedback session and they don't have the work they're supposed to have, they sit down and the first thing they do is write an email to their parent, they CC you, and they explain the situation. This is what I'm supposed to have done. This is where I'm at. This is my plan for catching up. And I always provide templates because even students at the high school level are not used to writing emails. And then if you're seeing growth, if you're seeing students really make gains in your class, giving them opportunities to share that progress, share those successes with parents as well. And again, giving them a structure that makes that easy for them to do. So in this cycle, you'll think about how can you get your students communicating more effectively and more regularly about their progress with their parents.